Hi everyone, welcome to today's workout. So main thing today is you need to have your weights handy, so just have them close by. We are mixing it up. We are going to do some cardio. We're doing some interval training. I'm not gonna be talking for part of it, but then when we get to the strength training, I will be talking. So you will have a bit of everything today. All right, so get your workout shoes on, get your gear on, and let's go. Let's just start with bringing our arms back and forth. Let's bring our arms overhead, deep breath in, and breathing out. Let's bring one arm up, one arm back, and just stretching them. And one more. Let's bring the arms halfway up and down. And let's bring them forward this time. One more, keeping them here and back. And one more. And let's just start bringing our feet back and forth into a bicep curl. So just warming up here, we're doing a five minute warm up. Then we're gonna do five minutes of cardio, a little bit harder for cardio. I'm not gonna be talking in the working out part during that five minutes. Then we'll go into our strength training. Let's bring our feet forward. Focusing on some nice deep breaths. Let's just go into a fast march. Let's bring our feet wide and in. Okay, let's kick it out. And let's just dance it out. Nice deep breath. And let's press a hand across. And single jacks. 
So for the next five minutes, we are going to do one exercise, one move for 45 seconds, and then you are going to go as fast as you can for 15 seconds. We'll do that five times and then go into our weights. So we're gonna do a V-step, ready?
Okay, grab a weight that you can use for a squat and a bicep curl overhead press. Let's go into that position, sitting back, bicep curl and press. Sitting back, bicep curl and press. Make sure when you're going down, you're really pressing your glutes back. Breathing out. And putting that weight down, grabbing a lighter weight. We are doing a side leg raise and opposite side with a uh, lateral raise. So concentrating here, this is a balance exercise as well. Breathing out as you lift that weight up. Switching to the other side. Grabbing a light weight again, anywhere between a two and a five probably. Arms are up, drop the hands behind, doing a calf raise, lifting that weight up and back down. Lifting those heels up and that weight up. Full minute here. Almost done. Just one more. Put that weight down. We are going to grab, uh, actually, we're not gonna use any weight for this one. Five minutes to abs. So let's do slow elbow to knee. So just going down, concentrating here. <sighs> Breathing out as you bring the elbow to the knee. Flex the abs every time that elbow goes to his elbow goes to the knee. One more. Getting in position, switching to the other side. One more, grabbing a light weight, one or two pounds, and we're punching it out. Now here, keep your legs stable, abs are tight. Flex those abs, really concentrate on the abs here. Putting that weight down, having the arms up, down to the foot. Breathing out as the hands come down. One more. 
Grab the lightweight again. Same as before, punching it out. Putting that weight down. Elbows uh, or hands at the ears, going crunching down to one knee. So just staying with one side. Every time you're crunching down, you're flexing those abs. Switch to the other side. Last one. Pick up the light weight again. Punch it out. Abs are tight. And putting the weight down. Same position as before, this time we're going down to the side, so elbow down to the knee. Almost done. One more. Getting in position, going to the other side. Picking up the weights and let's punch it out. So for the next five minutes, we're gonna be doing 45 seconds of a move, 15 seconds of, of jogging or running, whatever works best for you, or walking. Putting them down.
Okay, so we are going to do a bicep curl on one leg stance. Grab a weight. If you can, lift one foot off the floor and you're just going to work on those biceps, working on balance at the same time. One more, switching to the other foot. So our leg is getting a big workout here as well. All right, let's do our deadlifts. Having, the, having your legs bent, bending down, sticking your butt back, chest is proud in front, coming up, squeezing those glutes, and down. Breathing out, squeeze. Squeeze those glutes. more seconds. Okay, going into our back row. L legs are bent, rowing up and down. So chest is out and glutes are back. So flatten your back out. You want a heavy weight here to really benefit. Squeeze that upper back. You got this. Almost done. And one more, bring that weight back down and we are on to our cool down. So let's just bring the feet back and forth, bicep curl, nice deep breaths. jacks. Let's punch out and just bring the feet back and or feet up and down in a wide stance. back and forth. Let's do a tricep press. So press back. Okay, nice deep breath. 
breathing out. Again. Last one. So let's bring our arms overhead. And let's just swing the arms back and forth. One more minute and then we're going to do some balance exercises and stretching. And let's just walk it out. So you got in your cardio, you did interval training, you did strength training, we're doing our balance and stretching. It is a full workout, full body workout for sure. I am sweating, I hope you are too, and I hope you enjoyed the workout. Focus on those nice deep breaths for the last 30 seconds. Let's just bring the arms up again. Big stretch. Last one. All right, our balance exercise is two minutes. Let's bring one opposite knee and opposite hand up and switching. So taking your time here, really focusing on that balance. Thirty more seconds. For the next one, we are going to bring our arms to the side. You're gonna bring your leg in front. Now, if that's too hard, just have your foot down here. We're just balancing, holding that for 30 seconds. So you'll feel this is quite hard on that leg that is holding you up because your legs are probably tired from the workout. Foot down, shake it out a bit, switch to the other side. So as I said, you can have your foot down here if you wish, if this is too hard. This is definitely much harder on that leg that is holding all the weight. And you'll likely feel your weight shifting in your foot. Bring that foot down and we are on to stretching. Grab a chair, it makes it, I find a lot of people prefer the stretching in the chair, so grab your chair and let's stretch. Let's bring the hands in front, let's just reach the hands forward, stretching with the back. Let's bring the hands back to stretch out the chest. Pressing the hands to the walls. You should feel this in your arms. Let's reach one arm overhead, reach as high as you can to the ceiling. And then the other side. Now let's just stretch one arm over to the side to feel that through your side. And then the 
opposite side. And sitting up straight, bring one arm in front, crossing that arm in front of the body and pull that arm in. Cross it in front of the body. Reaching one arm overhead, dropping the hand behind as if you're patting yourself on the back and press that elbow back. Switching to the other side, arm is up, or hand is up, and then back. Excellent. All right, let's sit on the end of the chair, bringing one leg forward, having that leg as straight as you can, putting your weight on the bent leg and you're just going to stretch out that straight leg. So going down as far as you can to feel that stretch in the straight leg. Stretch over to the other side. stretch. If you can, bring your ankle onto your opposite knee and then we're going to lean forward. Now if you can't do that, you can just cross your legs and lean forward. You'll also feel that stretch that way, but this way is just a little bit better. So ankle onto the knee, flat back, and then lean forward. So you should feel a really good stretch in your hip here. You'll also feel it in your glutes and your lower back. We're going to hold this for 30. Switching to the other side. Just drop our ear down to our shoulder for a nice neck stretch. If you want to intensify it, you can put the other hand out to the side. And then just rotating your head forward to the other side and hold. And coming into that stretch, let's just look over our shoulder and hold.
and then the other side and you're all done. Looking forward, taking a deep breath in, bringing the arms overhead, and big breath out. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. It uh, was something different and uh, I hope you liked it. All right, take care everyone. Have a great day. Bye for now.